going to be a good workout for me. Hey guys, welcome back to another vlog. It's actually been quite a while, I think, since I filmed the vlog, so I'm really looking forward to this week. It's gonna be like a double workload week for me this week because on Saturday, Mo and I are going to the Maldives. We are so, so excited. So I wanna get all of my content filmed and edited for the week after so that I have stuff to upload. Plus, I wanna film some content for this week, so it's gonna be like, double workload but it should be good I've tried to plan and like structure my week kind of down to the T so that I can get everything done before we leave and one of the things that I want to do is get my hair trimmed so I'm actually just waiting for Mo and we're gonna go to the salon and he's going to trim my hair a little bit and also put in a gloss like a hydrating um, treatment gloss so my hair will be nice and fresh for the Maldives then I'm gonna get my nails done a pedicure and then I have a couple of calls and like work things a little bit later on but yeah it should be a really good week is now done. He likes to cut it dry so that it's more precise. Feels so good, so healthy. And now we're gonna put a gloss, like a gloss treatment in my hair to make it nice and shiny. It will also protect it a little bit from the sun next week. Okay. Oh, is that like a, like a Oh, that's better. So guys, a gloss is basically something that makes your hair a little bit more shiny. You can even intense it a little bit with some some pigments. So make it a little bit more like cold pigments inside or warm pigments inside. At the end of the day, the gloss is always good for your hair because it makes it shiny and look good and it looks healthy. So tell your goodness 
guys it is tuesday i'm just about to make myself some delicious bliss balls with dates and oats it's a really simple straightforward recipe i thought about including it in this vlog but i'm actually going to do it in a separate video i think it'll already be up by the time you guys see this video so if you haven't seen it i will link it down below so these are the ingredients that i use this is the base these are the most important and then you can add in some of these things into the batch and then i roll them in coconut and um, these are crushed almonds but i'm going to film this now in a separate video and i will show you guys what it looks like at the end yummy how good does that look I'll make sure to have a link for this video down below in the description box. I am filming an insert for another video and I just swatched this gorgeous, gorgeous eyeshadow palette. How beautiful are these colors? Oh my goodness. And this is the actual eyeshadow palette. It is from Anastasia Beverly Hills. It's the new Sultry palette. So, so pretty. Hello guys, it is Friday today. This week has flown by. I was planning on vlogging and like showing you guys how I've been working throughout the week, but I'm just not the best multitasker. Like when I'm working on one video, I am literally so focused on that one video. But yeah, I got most of what I wanted to get done done. I think I was a little bit over ambitious but yeah I'm just I'm a little bit exhausted to be honest and I just am so excited for next week to just chill get some sun and spend time with Mo I still haven't packed or organized for the trip so I'm gonna do that today um, I have to do it today because we're leaving tomorrow so and then in about two hours I have a facial so I thought I could take you guys along with me for that as well all of those date balls by the way are gone Mo and I like devoured them Speaking Speaking of skin, I thought I would show you guys what um, supplements I take for my skin. I'm pretty sure I showed you guys in another skincare related video what supplements I take, but I want to re-emphasize it because it makes such a difference, especially if you have acne or problematic skin. Supplements can be super, super helpful. Zinc is so important. I think this is one of the main supplements that really has such a big impact on my skin. Zinc is really good for helping to rebuild the skin, so if you have cuts or skin that's been picked out from you know trying to pop a pimple it's also really good for reducing inflammation zinc is just like so so good then vitamin a if you guys have heard of accutane it's that really strong medicine um, against acne and roaccutane contains a lot of vitamin a accutane can actually have a lot of negative effects on the body on on the liver but vitamin A is the key ingredient in that. And this is a natural form and it's just concentrated vitamin A. So this is really good as well. And then I have this clear skin complex from Viridian. And this has zinc in it as well. It's also got burdock root and some good probiotics. This is kind of like an all-in-one. This is a good like multivitamin for the skin. It's got some nice ingredients in here that really support skin health. And it's also got a good dose of probiotics. And speaking Speaking of probiotics, I also like to take an extra, like um, a separate one. Probiotics are really important for the digestive system and if our digestion is not working well or it's irritated, it can immediately show up on our skin. So probiotics are really important. When I take these consistently, my skin looks really, really good. So I would highly recommend maybe like doing some research on it and, you know, trying these for yourself. Everything is all natural. I'll make sure to put links for where I get these down below in the description box. And I'm actually going to pack these because I need them for the trip. Just ordered myself a salad from Dean and David. This is the place right here. And this is the avocado superfood salad. It is my favorite. And then this is the rucola dressing that goes on top. I wanted to make myself lunch, but I have no time today. But this place is nice and healthy, so really like the salad. I've had my lunch, I've packed a little bit, removed my makeup, and I'm now ready for my facial. Oh my god, like my under eye situation is real. I feel like I haven't slept properly in days, but my skin is doing really good. I do have this breakout here that happened, so I think we're going to do a little bit of microneedling, specifically in this area, to like allow that to heal a little bit faster. But otherwise, I feel pretty, pretty good. So yes, let's head inside and I will show you guys a little bit of what we do. Mm -hmm. I'm looking out from my window Sun's coming up 
like the day before You're like a stone on my pillow I don't make a sound when I shut the door to wake up yeah oh, we can spend our day in bed i'll put the tv in the room we'll have a netflix marathon kg saxophone we'll order in a bunch of food i'll put your favorite music on all the way baritone Shut the lights, go in front of me. We can spend all day in bed. I get the wine and the corkscrew. You don't have to do one single thing. You don't know how much I want you. Just looking at you makes my whole world spin. I am back from the facial. My skin is looking nice and glowy. I'm really happy that I was able to do that before we leave. And now I have to tackle this room, which is looking like a hot mess. This is where we're at with the packing. I've gotten a lot of my like beauty bits, um, electronics, skincare, um, hair stuff. I still have so much that I have to do, but we're gonna get this done. I have to go through this drawer right here where I have all of my swimsuits and um, like bikinis and beachwear. This swimming suit is new. I got this from ASOS um, not so long ago and I'm definitely going to take this one. It is very, very pretty. So I have to go through all of this, organize. I started doing my gym clothes over there. I have some dresses here and these are some new sandals that I was trying on. I ordered these online. Hello, darling. What are you doing? What is inside? What is that? I don't know. I ordered something, but I guess it came in too. Ooh, it's a jumpsuit. Ooh, that's pretty. Yeah, it looks cool. But look, there's like a thing to put a belt. Yeah. No belt. You put your belt. You decide which belt you want to put. That's weird. Right, guys? No, That's the man behind the scene. By the way, this is my side. I like just started. I have still to pack. You know guys, packing is not my favorite. At the end of the day, there's always something missing when you go on flight. Good morning guys, it is Saturday. I've just made us some breakfast. I'm having oats with some frozen raspberries, chia seeds, walnuts, and coconut flakes. And Mo is having some eggs with cucumber. These are little corn cakes with some hummus. And I made us a green juice, like a green smoothie as well. And we've got our bags ready to go. I have this almost every single morning, usually with almond butter, but I ran out. But this is still so good. Are you excited? Going to the Maldives today. Yay! Woo! You know what I'm excited for? I'm excited to go with the water plane. You have the most amazing view out of there. You see all the small islands. And I'm just excited just to chill, listen to audiobooks, just relaxing time. Here's a look into my travel bag. It's my Celine that I always like to travel with because it's nice and big. In this first little pouch here, I've got some makeup that I want to apply um, just a little bit before we get off the flight in Mali. And then in this one, I have some in-flight skincare, some lip balm and some little serums. I have these little mini uh, drunk elephant. So I've got a hydration serum, a lip balm. Um, this is a vitamin C serum. I've got my little rose quartz roller in there, a hand cream and an extra pair of underwear just to feel fresh. And then what's this? This is a toner, like a facial mist. And then here, this divider is so, so helpful. I got this on Amazon. Um, I will have it linked below. But it's nice because it has these little compartments so you can easily organize everything. In this pink bag here, I've got my electronics that I'll need for the plane. So I've got my computer charger, a phone charger. Here I've got my headphones. 
uh, some SD cards because I will be editing on the plane. My passport, some tissues. These are a couple of um, like little bars that I like to have just in case I'm hungry. Here we've got my glasses, my sunglasses, a highlighter and a pen. And then this is the book that I want to start reading now. It's called Letting Go. And this was a recommendation from Mimi. She said that this book was really good. So I am going to give it a read. In this little pouch here, I've got some makeup brushes for when I want to do my makeup. I have to put my laptop in here as well. I like to feel comfortable when I'm traveling because we will be traveling for quite a while. I think it's like a 23-hour journey so this is going to keep me nice and comfortable all right so here is my computer that's going to slide right in to there and then i'm just going to pop these little bags on top like so oh my god <laughs> baby feel how heavy my bag is i'm going to get a workout just carrying this around did you take your life with you or what yes you your whole life right yes whole life. but it's going to be a good life. workout <laughs> It's gonna be a good workout for me. Yeah. So this is my travel look for today. Super comfy because again, it's gonna be like, I think we have almost like a 20 hour flight. So I just want it to be very, very comfy. These leggings are from Lululemon. They're really pretty. They have this little mesh detail running down the front. Super, super nice. And they're very like fitted and tight. Like they feel really good on. And then I've just got a white cotton camisole underneath. And then this sweater is really nice. It's a cashmere sweater from Zara or Mango. I think it might have been from Zara. And then I've got my Celine bag and my shoes are my uh, workout shoes from Nike. These are so, so comfortable. They are the fly knits. I would highly recommend these shoes. And yeah, that is my look. We are so excited. The weather in the Maldives looks so good. I think it's like 28, 29 degrees. So yes, cannot wait. So I think I'm gonna wrap up this vlog here. Thank you so much for watching. I know that this vlog was a little bit kind of like all over the place, but yeah, this week was just super crazy. But next week should be really nice. I'll have two videos for you guys to post when I'm there. And then of course we will be vlogging as well. So that vlog should hopefully be a little bit more fun. But nonetheless, I hope that you guys enjoyed hanging out with me. Thank you so much for watching. And I will see you on Wednesday with a new video. Mwah. Bye guys. Thank you.